Around the late 2030, humans will fly to Mars for the first time in history. If all goes well, missions to the Red Planet will become regular and eventually, a human colony will be established there. Since the human body is adapted to life on Earth, Martian conditions will greatly affect the health of the new inhabitants. Some scientists believe that the people who remain on Mars will evolve over many hundreds of years and will eventually cease to resemble Earthlings. Elon Musk has presented his vision for the future, where humanity not only explores Mars, but establishes a thriving city with a population in the millions. This ambitious goal is part of his long-term strategy to ensure the survival and expansion of humanity beyond Earth. At the core of this vision is SpaceX, the space company that has developed not only reusable rockets, but also the Crew Dragon spacecraft. Crew Dragon represents a significant leap in space travel, with the capability to transport crews and even space tourists. However, Musk's most ambitious project is the creation of a human colony on Mars. The plan involves sending the first manned missions to Mars by 2025, with the full construction and population of the million-person city on the Red Planet planned over the next centuries. Musk views this project as a potential savior for humanity in the event of a catastrophe on Earth. The entrepreneur points to the possibility of an apocalypse or other crises that could threaten the existence of humanity on our home planet. Creating a self-sustaining city on Mars, in his opinion, would ensure the survival of a portion of human civilization and open up new prospects for development. However, challenges are expected even during the flight stage. The absence of gravity poses a serious challenge for astronauts on prospective Mars missions. Despite the presence of microgravity inside the spacecraft, the traveler's muscles will still weaken over the 500 days of the journey. To function productively on Mars for a month, they will first need some time for recovery. Most likely, upon arrival on the planet, astronauts won't be able to move on foot independently, so they will require a sealed rover. Out of the four crew members, only two will venture onto the surface of Mars after muscle recovery. The remaining two will wait inside a specially designed capsule and assist remotely. Additionally, cosmic radiation poses a significant threat requiring their spacesuits to provide effective protection for their bodies. Otherwise, radiation could cause irreversible damage to their central nervous system and noticeably reduce their overall lifespan. Mars does not have a breathable atmosphere because carbon dioxide makes up more than 90% of its composition. There are high levels of radiation and low temperatures, Additional unfamiliar factors for Earthlings include weak gravity and the absence of a magnetic field. Future colonizers of Mars will face psychological challenges, including prolonged isolation at a significant distance from the rest of humanity. It's essential to consider that the journey to Mars takes about six months and can only be undertaken during specific planetary alignments. Transforming the Martian ecosystem requires colossal efforts. However, a more effective approach might be adapting humans to the existing conditions. Evolution has already demonstrated that living organisms strive to adapt to their environment. It's challenging to envision modern technologies creating on Mars an infrastructure identical to what humans are accustomed to on Earth. We have made more progress in biotechnology than in engineering. Therefore, in some cases, it might be simpler to make adjustments to the human body itself. As humans adapt to Mars, their respiratory system will undergo changes, possibly reflected in their facial features. Breathing function may alter, or an entirely different mechanism might emerge.
Martian eyes may narrow to protect against dust storms. Surviving on Mars entails not only learning to breathe without oxygen, but also adapting to cold conditions. While equatorial regions may experience seasons with temperatures above freezing, the average temperature on Mars is significantly below zero. Currently, people endure harsh temperatures in Antarctica on polar stations, where it can reach minus 60 degrees, serving as a training ground for Mars. It is speculated that Martians might evolve to grow fur for insulation. However, the primary challenge for future colonizers on the Red Planet will be radiation, not cold. The human body on Mars will be significantly affected by radiation. Combating this requires mastering cell regeneration to facilitate recovery from radiation exposure or developing effective protective measures. The foremost challenge, though, is the journey to Mars, taking about six months, during which humans will be exposed to substantial radiation doses. Even spacecraft may not provide sufficient protection, according to scientists. Martian inhabitants may be smaller in size, and their brains may not necessarily be larger. Evolution introduces changes gradually rather than instantly. In reality, there's no impediment to creating a rough human likeness for Mars. It's just that their functions will differ, imperceptible to the naked eye. Mars might not necessarily influence their external appearance. Polish scientist Konrad Szoltysek from the University of Information Technology and Management also discussed the need for future Mars colonists to adapt their bodies and minds. He even suggested the possibility of altering human sensory organs using advanced electronics and medications to reduce emotional reactions during crises. American astronauts landing on the moon demonstrated jumps and admitted that walking felt uncomfortable, not like on Earth. Similar challenges may arise for Martians. Reduced gravity leads to changes in bone structure, as observed by scientists studying cosmonauts. Over two to three years on Mars, human bones could melt at a rate of 2% per month. If the body attempts to adapt, it may start to densify bones, transforming individuals into sturdy, shorter beings. How might humans change to adapt to Martian conditions? Perhaps their eyes will narrow, hands will elongate, skin will redden, bodies will grow fur, the big toe will shift for better stability, figures will become more compact, and bones will become denser. Paleoanthropologist Matthew Skinner from the University of Kent predicts that Martians may develop elongated hands. In the weakened gravity conditions, people will need to relearn how to grasp objects, leading to the lengthening of bones. Simultaneously, the big toe will shift for better body stability. In the end, anatomically, Martians might resemble Earth's orangutans. Radiation doses on Mars are six times higher than the maximum allowed for employees at terrestrial nuclear facilities. Radiation damages DNA and can lead to cancer. However, some scientists believe humans could develop some protection through pigmentation, resulting in all Martians having a dark skin tone. Testing these theories is currently impossible since Earth and accessible space lack conditions similar to Mars, and artificially recreating them is challenging. Evolutionary changes require significant time, and predicting the emergence of a furry creature with a massive chest on Mars would be purely fantastical. From an anthropological perspective, it is clear that for human survival during the colonization of Mars and other planets, the creation of artificial habitat conditions is essential. Otherwise, survival is at risk. Perhaps some Martian population might undergo changes due to its isolation, but this remains speculative. However, the question of how to adapt humans to Mars remains relevant. Could genetic engineering be the solution? Even if desired, it is currently impractical. Any presumed adaptation, if possible at all, would require several generations and extensive material selection, including biodiversity. 
Experience from space flights provides the only data for understanding potential changes. Although astronauts on long space flights may experience slight height increase and some physiological changes, these phenomena are loosely related to human evolution on other planets. Unfortunately, hopes for human evolution on other planets are currently unfounded. The reliance must be on the development of technologies that will enable future Martian colonizers to exist in artificially created environments, protecting them from the harsh atmosphere of the Red Planet.